What's up everybody, Frank Valkyria, welcome to the channel. Today we have an appointment we cannot miss. Yes, BTS, new song, Butter. Super curious, I just checked the view. It's like 50 million views in like five hours. It's insane. BTS, for whatever reason, it's one of those bands which they have managed to capture the imagination of so many. And, uh, you know, personally, I have nothing against the guys or whatever. I'm just saying this as an observation. You know, sometimes you ask yourself, how come them instead of another? Uh, they're not worse or better than so many bands out there. And uh, sometimes you just ask, what is it? You know, what is it? What is it that, that it's so made this band so popular? But we'll be also here to find out. And also leave a comment below what you think. What is it? What is it that those guys, five hours, 50 millions? It's like 10 millions an hour. God damn it. That's almost a career of some YouTubers in one hour. I'm super curious. Let's watch this together. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Come on, you really said that? Smooth like butter, like a criminal undercover. God, I, I gotta throw something. Lyrics. God damn it. That was both cool and actually funny. <laughs> Let's listen to that again. Like trouble. Very snappy. They're bragging, eh? They're bragging a little bit. Like, eh? Huh? <laughs> you see this hotness? It's thanks to my mother, and I'm making you sweat, and I know it, and I'm gonna run with it. And why did they get arrested, all of them? It's like feels like they're doing this so that you make sure you know who they are. Uh, and even me, I know to recognize them now. That's V, my favorite, at least in terms of voice. I always think that V has really lovely voice. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, you know what else uses butter? Uh, this is a reference that perhaps not many of you will know. Some of you will, but I'm telling you this. Butter was used not only to be smooth like a criminal, which is also referenced perhaps to Michael Jackson, Smooth Criminal, but also to Last Tango in Paris. Huh? In Last Tango in Paris, butter was used to smooth out certain areas. Okay? I want to know if you know. So you see, butter has a lot of uses. A lot of uses. Nice chorus. Nice. We're gonna listen to this part again. It's actually very 80s and early 90s. There's both this kind of uh, R&B and uh, pop from that era. Uh, very interesting. I like this, you know, the, the, this snappy part and then that opens up with those big scenes and then you have this peculiar bass coming in, uh, which I suppose is still keys. Um, but it creates a very nice chorus. The song is super catchy, and the fact that so far they're always speaking in English makes me think that perhaps they're really aiming at uh, you know international market in the English market because other songs that I reviewed, of course, there's always a part. There's most part are spoken in their own, of course, language, and then there are part in English. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not a specialist on BTS. I've done just 
a bunch of reaction on them also to understand the 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 glam to try to understand uh, you know like the the phenomenon which they are they, they are a phenomenon like we said before and for whatever reason they, they've managed to capture so much audience like huge audience probably to this day the most popular working band uh which they make those incredible hits this song feels like a summer hit incredibly well produced i really like the 80s vibe of it Bam, boom <laughs> uh, girls are gonna get crazy here Oh man, this part, it's basically early days uh, Daft Punk. Like, you listen to this, come on. This really has that, like, a uh, 1994 Daft Punk flair to it. Look at that. Get the red part. because talk is cheap oh god damn it i mean there's a lot of one-liner very very catchy like light-hearted catchy song i mean uh, bragging a little bit but then again they're at the point where they can afford this you know they're doing like the more so self-conscious uh, self-aware like uh, sexy song so to speak you know but then they're still managing to do it in a kind of uh, generic friendly way you know which is still comes across um honestly a little bit uh, i would say both genderless you know like uh, sort of the Walt disney of trying to uh, to be sexy in a way and, and they do it qu quite well because of course they have an audience that spans probably like from 80 year old to like i don't know also older for sure every time i say like they have a younger audience of 8 to 12 and then somebody comes across i'm 45 and i listen to bts all my life since i was three fine it's all good it's all good i'm listening to them as well just saying like you know they managed to pack very nicely in a way of uh not being too uh edgy um very nice song i mean this song is gonna be a super hit it's catchy sticks into your head that all has all those elements that you recognize uh like uh, i said before a little bit of daft punk a little bit of michael jackson uh, a little bit of all the 90s boy bands i actually love this sound much more very straightforward compared to other songs of k-pop bands which sometimes i've said this before some tunes they're all over the place like there's so much happening like like you know it changes continuously from this to that and also visually like it really has to keep you entertained and everything and the visuals are here as well but it's much more linear you know much straightforward pop song uh, straight out of the 90s, would say early 90s. Huh? There's also a part here in the end. Uh, come on, you animal! You don't eat butter like that. Was it was it really a chunk of butter? Come on, my man. At least take a French baguette, eh? a panino if you are in Italy, something to spread it on, and use some nice homemade jam. Please, 
that's no way of consuming butter. You see, you have some nice pancakes there. Huh? Uh, yes, yes, yes. And off camera is using butter like last time in Paris. We know that. Huh? Now we know. Anyway, guys, what you think? Very catchy song. Super catchy song. Uh, super friendly. I suspect that this is going to hit 100 millions by tomorrow morning. <laughs> and uh, call me out if it doesn't. But I have that feeling. It's really well packed. Uh, the, 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 the lyrics are like uh, are funny and uh, bragging in a, in a kind of endearing way, you know. So it's going to work super, super well. And I honestly like the elements of these more 90s that I heard here and there. So yeah nice the english you know through and through i it gives me the sense that they're really marketing the entire word in english you know usually we have seen those songs where they sing most of the song in their own language which is of course it's fair they come from south korea makes sense but this song super catchy in english with all the right pop elements so yeah it's a, a clear uh decision to just make a, a mega hit you know mega english hit that can just hit everywhere so let's see if that what is going to happen um yeah guys if you want to see more bts let me know i had fun i actually want to listen to this early part again smooth like butter like a criminal undercover you see sticks into my head right off the bat amazing let's go let's go smooth criminal huh carrying butter Criminal undercover, far black trouble, breaking into your heart like that. Far, 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 far,